Hi everyone. This hand caused a few problems for a few people. So let's see what went wrong and see what we might have done to get to a better contract. Okay, so I'm going to open one spade. That's fairly normal. Partner bids one no trump. And at this point, some people missed out on a game by bidding two spades or or in some cases three spades, and that's it. The bidding just stopped. And how come we didn't get to game? Well, let's take a look. First of all, limit bids. We talk about limit bids for a moment. A limit bid is a bid which shows a narrow range of points, a limited range of points. Some examples of a limit bid, uh, say a one no trump opening bid. And if you're playing Akol, that's 12 to 14, a narrow range of points. If you're playing standard, 15 to 17. Um, one heart, two hearts. That two hearts is a limit bid because it shows a narrow range of points. Now, limit bids are great because as soon as your partner has made a limit bid, you can calculate the combined total. You can calculate your combined strength. And most of the time you'll be able to choose the final contract. No more messing around. We don't get extra points for complicated auctions. If there's a simple way to get to the best contract, let's do that. That one no trump from North there is a limit bid. It shows six to nine points. And mostly it will be balanced. Sometimes North can be a little bit off shape there because if he's not strong enough to bid a new suit at the two level. But most of the time, reasonably balanced with six to nine points. Okay, ask yourself this question. What contract do we want to play in if North has got six to nine points and reasonably balanced? Do we want to play in a slam? No, I don't think so. Do we want to play in a part score? something below game. No, I don't think so. We've got 18 points and, and a really good six card spade suit. So we want to play in game. Which game do we want to play in? Well, it's not going to be hearts, clubs or diamonds. It's going to be spades, probably. Now, you might choose to play in three no trumps, but probably not. Probably you're going to want to play in four spades. Hey, I've got a good idea. Why don't we just bid four spades? Yeah, that'll work. What if I bid three spades? What would be the point? Maybe I should bid three spades and then partner can. But why? We don't need to do that. After a limit bid, we know the final contract. You don't need to ask permission from partner here to do anything. You can just bid four spades. Nice and simple. Now limit bids, that's what they do. They Limit bids almost always, um, you're getting towards the end of the bidding once someone's made a limit bid. You don't want to be messing around after that. So I'm going to draw some trumps. Uh, all the trumps have gone now. I've still got a heart and a club and maybe a diamond to lose, but that's okay. I'm still going to make this four spade contract. And, oh, we got a little lucky here. So what's going to happen now is I can cross over to the king of clubs, queen of clubs, throwing a, uh, uh, sorry, playing another club, follow suit. Now a club throwing a diamond and I've got Ace of Diamonds and two spades to finish with. Notice the East made a little mistake there. Can anyone spot what East could have done better? Notice there's no entries to the table. So after I've drawn trumps, if East had let me win the first two club tricks and then won the Ace of Clubs on the third round, I'd have no clubs to get back over to the north hand and I would have no way to throw away that losing diamond. So 
If the defence are really sharp, they can take one heart, one club and one diamond. But still, we're going to make our four spade contract. So takeaway from this is when partners made a limit bid, there's just no need to mess around. You, you, you allowed to, you should choose the final contract if you possibly can. Hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching. See you next time.